Mercedes, how's it going? Where's Julia and Mary Jo? The client. Anthony, where have you been? I've been trying to page you in the truck. We got all sorts of people screaming to have stuff delivered by Thanksgiving. Didn't your beeper go off? Well, yeah, as a matter of fact, it did, Charlene. I was at a stoplight park next to a guy in a Mercedes convertible talking on a car phone. So I asked him if I could borrow it. <laughs> he said if it was all right with me, he would rather that I didn't. <laughs> Can you believe those guys? I mean, who do they think they're fooling? They're not talking about nothing on those phones. They're saying stuff like, uh, yeah, Phil, would you go into my office immediately and staple everything on my desk together? <laughs> I just want to know if you delivered those drapes to Tommy Thompson. Well, of course I did. Do I look like somebody who is not responsible? Well, he called and you weren't there yet. I don't even want to hear this. I mean, I don't even like going out to the dude's house. I am trying to hang the drapes, and he keeps coming in every five minutes with his friend. Look at him, Richard. Doesn't he have the strongest shoulders you've ever seen? <laughs> and then, when I'm leaving, he starts following me, saying, Anthony, are you sure you can't stay for a cocktail? <laughs> Don't cocktail me. <laughs> this is not my first time in Dodge. Well, I just hoped you didn't insult him. Hey, I was nice to the man. I just don't like the way he talks about Julia. Uh, he's always saying stuff like, uh, she doesn't really know anything about the decorating business. She just thinks she knows. Oh, he's just jealous. He and his partner are trying to start their own design house. Yeah, if we don't know anything, how come he's such a good customer? I don't know. But if he don't watch his mouth, he's going to be a gone customer. Anthony! Hey, why are you so cranky? Her boyfriend's moving away. You mean the big dude who weighs 300 pounds? That's him. He's moving to Tokyo. Has Tokyo been notified? <laughs> All right, I'm gone. <laughs> Gotta take a sofa back over there. You know, the place is looking real nice. I really want to thank y'all for inviting me tomorrow. Well, you said you didn't have any place else to go. Well, yeah, I could have gone over to my parole officer's house, but that's kind of grim, you know? <laughs> he always makes me feel like, use the wrong fork, go to prison. <laughs> Joe, all I am saying is I'm not picking one red cent on that ticket, and if I have to, I will take it all the way to the Supreme Court. What happened? We're on the way to the bank to make that deposit, right? But the car breaks down, so while they're working on it, Julia decides that we should walk to the bank and make our drive-through deposit on foot, because the inside of the bank doesn't open until 10. Sounds reasonable to me. Thank you, Charlie. Anybody care for a homemade roll? No. So, <laughs> there we are standing in the drive through line. And when we pull up, so to speak, to the glass window, the guy refuses to accept our deposit because we're not inside a vehicle. That's ridiculous. So Julia commandeers the back seat of the woman's car behind us and starts yelling for this woman to drive us through the drive through <laughs> And then the bank manager makes Julia get out of the woman's car, and then the police come. Need I say more? <laughs> Well, Julie, if you're not going to pay the ticket, what's your defense going to be? My defense is that when I attempted to use that drive through window, I was indeed inside a vehicle, the vessel in which I have chosen to go through life, my body. <laughs> oh, Julia, don't be ridiculous. No judge is going to believe that. If you'd gotten to choose, you would have selected a much newer model. <laughs> Suzanne, you know, I'm not in a good mood. So if you would like to pursue this line of thought, I will be perfectly happy to get my late husband's elephant gun and blow you and your homemade buns on out of here. <laughs> what now? Nothing. You just had a little flower on your license plate. 